Whiz Kid, a Buzz Beaker Brainstorm by Scott Nichols, illustrated by Andy J. Smith. Cast of characters, Buzz Beaker, Sarah Bellum, Dr. Beaker, Larry Brown, The Assistant, Mr. Sludge Co. One day, near Buzz Beaker's backyard... Hey, guys! Wanna help test my latest invention? This won't turn me purple again, will it? No, I've made a helmet that turns thoughts into energy. It sounds dangerous. Sounds cool! How does it work? Just put on the brain booster and your thoughts make the windmill spin. The mental meter will measure the amount of power you're making. I hope I don't sprain my brain. Come on, Larry. You can do it. <laughs> Moments later. Phew. How did I do? You barely created enough power for an electric toothbrush. Yeah, but what you lack in brain power, you make up for in burping power. My turn. I hope it can handle my giant brain. Oh, brother. Why are you doing math problems? I'm exercising my mind. Math is like jumping jacks for the brain. I'm using all of my Supergirl genius. Wow. Your brain has enough energy to power the entire state of Ohio. Show off. Just then. Hey, kids. Is Buzz testing his inventions on you again? No, sir, Dr. Beaker. Yeah, Dad, I would never do such a thing. Well, I've got an exciting surprise. You've invented a machine that can control time and space? Not that big, Buzz. I've developed a new supersonic windmill system to power the city. Windmills? I thought you said exciting. They are much better for the environment. My windmills will replace the Sludge Co. power plant. Still sounds kind of boring. Your teacher's letting me take the class on a field trip to the wind farm. Now that's cool. The next day at the Sludge Co. power plant... What? They want to replace my power plant with windmills? Well, sir... Uh... People have complained about air and water pollution from this plant. Pollution? Bah! What's wrong with air you can sink your teeth into? Well, it's bad for the environment, sir. A bunch of tree huggers can't shut down my plant. I've already made sure that won't happen. Meanwhile, at the wind farm... Okay, class. We're here to see a real wind farm in action. I'm Dr. Beaker, Buzz's dad, and I invented this special new windmill. The invention is simple, actually. The windmill pulls in air, which is then turned into electricity. My design helps the windmill make up to ten times more power with no pollution. <laughs> hmm. I've never noticed that black box before. That wasn't part of my design. This will take care of those pesky kids and their windmills, too. <laughs> uh, woo! What was that, Dad? It's some sort of energy surge. Now this is exciting! Yeah! Dad, the windmill is spinning too fast. It's out of control, kids! Take cover! The windmill spins faster and faster. My dad's design failed in front of the whole class. How embarrassing! I don't think it's your father's fault! Look! That black box must be making the windmill spin out of control! How do we shut it off? Maybe we should just let your dad handle this situation. Uh, he doesn't handle failure well. 
We could use the brain booster to short circuit the black box. Sarah, you're a genius. I do have the best brains in class. Come on, you guys. I left the brain booster on the bus. I can't keep the brain booster on my head. This wind is too strong. Yeah, if our lives weren't in danger, it'd be a great day to fly a kite. You can't be serious. Wait a minute. Did you say flying? That gives me an idea. I need 500 sheets of notebook paper, two long branches, some string, and a lot of tape. Minutes later, it's perfect. Okay, now will you explain your brilliant plan? Actually, it's your idea, Larry. Huh? Yeah, huh? Using this giant kite, I'll soar up to the out-of-control windmill. Once I'm there, I'll shut off the black box and become a hero. Of course, I'll need your expert kite flying skills, Larry. You can count on me, Buzz. Us. You can count on us. Okay, you guys, just a little faster. Grunt. Oof. It works. I'm actually flying. Now I know how the Wright brothers must have felt. Okay, steer me over to the black box so I can shut down this wacky windmill. Aye, aye, Captain. You're the pilot, Larry, not a pirate. Just a little bit closer. It's off. The windmill is slowing down. Yay! Yay! Yes, I knew I could do it. Larry, the string! He's going down. Hang on, Buzz. Uh-oh. This is probably going to hurt. Wow, that was some landing. Are you all right, Buzz? Mission accomplished. You spoiled everything. I planted that box to destroy this wind farm. I would have gotten away with it, too, if it weren't for you rotten kids. Yeah, and if you hadn't just confessed. Brat! Get him! But you won't catch me. I have an SUV, and you kids can't even drive. Now to make my getaway. <laughs> Double drat. My SUV won't start. I'm out of gas. Maybe if your car didn't guzzle so much gas, you would have gotten away. Ah, uh, go hug a tree, you annoying kid. One week later. My dad's windmill is working, the stinky power plant is closed, and Mr. Sludgeco is in jail. Yeah, but where's Larry? Hey guys, since my kite idea worked so well, I'm becoming an inventor. Oh boy. Check out the Larry Brown Burpatron 4000. It runs on burping power. Really? <laughs> I think we just discovered a new source of air pollution. The end. <laughs>